Well, it's real windy out, but uh, we got a front coming through, I guess, tonight. I'm gonna throw this little black crawfish a speed crawl. Let's just take it down to the pond here real quick and see if we can't catch a bass or two. Nailed it. Big female, that's what I was after. They're getting ready to spawn soon. They are fat. Take a couple quick pictures and let her go.
pond is too shallow. I can't drag this thing through without hitting bottom and snagging willow leaves and algae. Just for the heck of it, I'm gonna try a Texas rigged worm. Usually if I fish a worm, it's wacky rigged, but just trying something different, I guess. Oh. Right here, shallow water. <laughs> Another fat one. Just like the one I caught on the other end of the pond. That'll wrap it up. Let's get a couple more pictures and let her go. That's not too bad for a quick walk around the pond. When I moved here almost four years ago, there's nothing but bluegills in here. So uh, with a little bit of effort, there's uh, now largemouth and catfish, a couple of grass carp and even crappie. Uh, I'm not sure if that's one of the original bass that I put in here three and a half years ago, or if that's one of their offspring. I really don't know how fast they grow, but that's definitely one of the bigger bass in here. Those, both of those. and. Uh, my friend Rob caught one that he says was five or six pounds, I think, this time last year. So uh, there's even bigger ones in here. So not bad for a little bit of effort and just a few years, and we got some good bass in here. And those bluegill are keeping them very well fed. And same with the catfish, which we'll be catching here this summer a little bit. So uh, thanks for watching. That'll be it for this evening.